call this meeting of the uh, Ohio County Fiscal Court to order on this 23rd day of April 2024, just after 5 p.m. I'm going to ask Magistrate uh, Larry Morphew to lead us in a prayer and a pledge to the flag. Lord, we come to you tonight thanking you and giving you praise, Lord. We thank you for your many blessings. Lord, as we conduct the business tonight, give us the strength, the courage, and the wisdom to do it in pleasing to you and be with our country, Lord. Just lead us and guide us in Christ's name. Amen. Amen. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Gentlemen, before you have the April the 9th meeting minutes, we need a motion to approve. So moved. Motion by Larry Morphew. Second. Second by Michael McKinney. Is there any questions, discussion, discussion, questions, or additions? Corrections or additions? Being none, all in favor say aye. Aye. Uh -huh. Post like sign. Minutes are approved. Before you have the bills, claims, payments, and transfers, <coughs> including a late list, but probably one of the shortest bill lists you ever get. I need a motion to approve. Motion by Jason Bullock. Second. Second by, by uh, Larry Markey. Any discussion on the bills and claims? Any discussion? Being none, on favor say aye. Aye. Opposed like sign, the bills are paid. You have the clerk's report of delinquent tax transfers. Tax transfer, that's where when the sheriff's uh, office declares them delinquent, turn them over to the county clerk to collect. Uh, so what we need to do is just uh, uh, acknowledge that we got Bess's report. So moved. Motion by Larry Moore, if you acknowledge that we received. Second is the acknowledgement. Second, uh, second. Is that high or is that low this year? Or the delinquency number here? Uh, it, it, I don't know. I didn't know either. You know, I don't know. Right. Michael, second. Okay, any discussion? Being none, I'm in favor of say aye. Aye. Opposed like sign? Motion carries. Chief Gibbons, come up here and talk to us. And you can bring your buddy with you if you want to. My name is Pat Gibbons, I'm Chief with Rockport Fire Department. Uh, we're here to request the use of our ARPA funds to replace and upgrade a breathing air compressor and storage unit that we had go down on us about a year ago. Uh, this is used to fill up our air pack bottles. Uh, it would be very helpful to us to get that thing replaced and get back up and going where we, we have been. Uh, I've got two quotes or estimates, I'll make it an estimate. One at 47,000, another one at 51,000. Uh, so we'll need to run an ad. Excuse me? We'll need to run an ad. Yes, I know. Yeah. Uh, Are y'all using your ARPA money? Yes. Okay. Yeah, that's what we'll put it in on. Yeah. And we'll, the difference, if there's a difference, we'll take what we have left in our county funds to make up the difference on it. We need a motion for yeah. advertisement? Yeah. yeah, so moved. Motion. Second more for you. Second. Second for Jason Bullock. Is there any discussion? Uh, being now on folks say aye. Aye. Opposed like sign. Motion passed. But I want to tell you, thank you guys. Anytime I get to talk to firemen, I always thank you for what you do. Well, we're happy to be here. We're not happy to be here. We're happy to do what we do. Okay, good. Good. Uh, and, I do have copies of all the 
the two quotes I do have. For well, I don't think that. we actually need those. Let's get the ad when it comes in. Okay, now who's going to place the ad? Are you going to do it or are you going to down here? How you want to? They'll probably need to write up the specs or Charlie. Yeah. Yeah, you've got the specs for it. Would you have any problem talking to Charlie Shields and giving him, y'all get the specs together and he get the ad in next week's paper and we get done by the time that this next meeting comes? Sounds good to me. We'll do. Thank you, Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Uh, we don't have a closed session, don't we plan one, uh, but Larry, uh, Morphe, you have uh, 20, 24, 25, a resolution? Right. If you want to make a motion. I want to make a motion that we use the rest of our ARPA money to go to the arts program. And uh, I'm really thinking to... Cantel and his crew does a super job with that. They've helped a lot of people, haven't they, Judge? Yes, yes. Helped Get a, a second. I've got some. Uh, I've got some uh, remarks to make too. I'll make the second because I'm. I think it's one of the best programs we've done too. But we we do need to think about about worst concerns. We might need to think about helping some others. To, to something that goes along with Jimmy in the in the future. To, but I mean, I want to keep the art program going on. Yeah, we can. It's associated with arts. We can transfer from there too. For, dis uh, for discussion, I had a question. Go ahead. We got a second. Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, what's what is the remaining funds there? And do you have that? It's approximately three hundred and twenty-five thousand. It's kind of a moving target. If that makes sense. Yeah, because see some of them you approved, I didn't use it all. Right. I, that, my, my concern was the, the wording of the, the remainder. I mean, I know that these need to be spent, but we had some other people I thought that had showed interest, and I just I just hate that we we don't need to try to take it from Jimmy after the fact. So yeah, that, well, that was my main concern. Yeah, I don't I, know if that's I think the time to talk about it, but I didn't know we were doing this tonight either. Uh, but uh, it's been a great program. The vision for the arts program was to help with folks returning from being incarcerated to prevent recidivism. That's the second time I've got that word out that I said it today. Uh, but we ended up being more than that. It ended up being that we were actually had a prevention side of it and that the courts worked with us well and we actually started the ACL monitor system that's actually helped people who may go in the first place. It gave us that supervision over them and all that. So it's been it's been a great I'm well pleased with that. It didn't come it didn't progress the way envisioned it, but it actually done better. So how um, much um, and he's helped get uh, people back in the workforce. A too. bunch of them. Yes. How much uh, money is left from what's already been allocated for him? The, when does when does the money run out? Uh, what's left for this year plus about 160 for probably 160 total. But this will solve that where we won't have to address it again this term. And you asked if, I think somebody said, I, I see no problem if through his office they wanted to, I think they call it sponsor. Um, That's kind of what I was saying. I think that can be done through the ARCH office. If he was partnering with a program to kind of help some of these, he could use that to sponsor or help yes. us. That's kind of what I was, That's as long as it went along with the ARCH program. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And I think what Michael was thinking about does absolutely goes along with it. Yeah. The, uh, but we're looking for something else to help them too. We find we're going. A neighboring county got some other funds for that. We're going to try to see if we can get them online to get some of it. Well, yeah, as long as the ARCH program was using something that was successful and was helping the ARCH program, I don't see why that we can't eventually partner with that or work with that or something. Yep. Yeah. All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed like sign. That resolution passed. Give me a sign. Yes, Well, you can make an EMA. Would that be enough to possibly keep them operating two years, a couple of years, Ann? Yeah. And we're saving our opioid money 
once that runs out, you know, to extend that. Uh, the how, next, much, how much of that's well, left in? We haven't used any of our opioid money. We've got about 192000 right now. I think there's another deposit getting ready to drop. But we don't know exactly what all that could be used for exactly yet, is it? Yeah, pretty much. Okay. I thought there were still some... I mean, they're still training on a, resolution a, a wider picture, oh, but it's basically to mediate, uh, or, you know, help those that's been affected by it. The next thing we have is uh, or a resolution 2024-26, which is the opportunity that came up that I've talked to all of you about, where the P&L Railroad is applying for uh, $52 million federal funds and they have to have a partner uh, or someone flow through or pass through of a government entity and they uh, allow us to do it and it's a great opportunity for it we will in the uh, end make nearly seven hundred thousand off of this what percentage do we get two percent and and according to the others it meant there's a nice lady uh, attorney named crystal with p l surely but she does most of it. But she sends it to us, and we forward it to the to the federal government. Is are you with P and L? Yes. Yes. Uh, uh, you can just. Uh, we I think we've got an understanding of. It. Let's go ahead and give us a quick synopsis of the of, of the project. Uh, this Adam uh, Braver boy. Thank you. You're Did I say it right? Adam Brayboy. I said Brayboy. Uh, yeah, out of you know, your sponsorship of uh, this infra application will be uh, uh, truly appreciated. The, uh, this uh, project will allow us to uh, to, to get our PL line, uh, to bring that into a, site, a state of good repair, uh, serve the region for decades to come. Uh, these grants will allow our company uh, to make some critically important. Uh, repairs uh, by the company uh, and it's going to be appreciated by the company and all of its employees uh, just a, a brief uh, uh, discussion on that I guess it's uh, this uh, project is going to uh, uh, include track and signal upgrades uh, it allows uh, 180,000 feet of new rail uh, the signal upgrades will be uh, over about 200 miles of our 208 mile track that will upgrade to a centralized traffic control um, it will be it will involve the installation of a wheel truing machine uh, at our Paducah diesel shop to where we can uh, uh, true their wheels the locomotive wheels in-house rather than send them off substantial amount of savings there uh, and also the rehabilitation of five bridges in the Ohio County and uh, surrounding areas nearby counties that's great and you're putting in 48 million of your own money yeah I believe I, that's uh, I believe that's a correct number I uh, I mean, I got that written down here. It's a uh, 35.2 million uh, based on the 67.7 million total cost. Uh, I think we're, I believe we're attributing 32.5 million would be the 48 percent of that. 48 uh, percent. 48 percent. That's correct. 48 percent. So once you get past two or three million, I don't totally understand the number. If you get more more money than I can think about. Does traffic and signal upgrades include Ohio County? Okay. Uh, yes, it's from uh, it's from the, 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 the track. The signal upgrade is from uh, Gilbertsville all the way to Louisville. Uh, so uh, that's roughly 200, a little over 200 miles of track. Sounds good. How many bridges are they replacing? How many bridges? Five bridges. Uh, I know a few around Central City area is a big big portion of it. Uh, of five total. Will it be the installation of new signals where there are none existing? Yes, so currently we have uh, we have signals in that stretch of track. Uh, not all that, but most of that stretch of track. It's, it's a automatic block system signals to where it's not uh, centralized traffic control, which is CTC. That's, what we, that's where the dispatchers uh, that are based out of Paducah can actually line the switches from the office. You know, and so it makes it every, it's more central. Uh, whereas now that that stretch of track, you know, you have to you you rely on paper track uh, tracking works. Uh, so there's a 
you know, there's room, there's more, a little more room for error, I think, you know, in track warrants, whereas the centralized traffic control, uh, you know, they push, they push a button and a line of switch, direct traffic, uh, trains into the uh, sightings, uh, it's all, that'd be controlled from Paducah. I guess my, my question was, the, the places that are now not serviced with maybe uh, a traffic signal of any kind other than blinking lights, like, upgrades to those? I believe, uh, I'm not in the signal the track department, but uh, I believe the, uh, currently the signals are just, uh, are just there to, uh, for trains are going down the track, it, it basically tells you if there's a, if, if there's a, if there's a, a train in front of you, you're going to get like a, 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 a yellow or a red, you know, you're gonna, it's, it's just, uh, it's really just controlled by the, by the trains that are, that, that are sitting on the track and they initiate that. So it's a, uh, I would I would say that would all have to be upgraded. Is, is, is my understanding of that? Like they would all have to be replaced. Um, no more new ones. You're just replacing the old ones that are on. I believe it would just be replacing the old. It's all ABS territory. Uh, but would all crosswalks, all crossings have a signal? The crossings uh, that I don't know. The crossings are uh, crossings. All not all the crossings have gates and signals. That would be included in, in this. This is more for the uh, the way it's explained to me. Uh, this is the. This is just this is just the signals for the train movement, okay. right? So you know, we have uh, I couldn't give the, the number of all, all crossings that we have, but not all of them have uh, crossing lights and you know gates and things like that. That's I think that's usually decided on the, the, the county itself. You know, it dictates which ones have gates and and all that. But I don't believe there's any of that in this in this funding. Uh, what we need tonight is to pass this resolution. And, and with the motion on the resolution to allow me to sign the contract that says exactly what the resolution says. Justin, you take this as? Well, I spoke to uh, the Mullins Law Firm out of, I guess, Washington has handles a lot of that. And, and, and speaking to them, I think they insist and they had discussions with Brad and Blake over there about the application process and getting all that information together. I think their expectation of the, of the county would be more in the administration of the payments uh, or documentation that may be needed, just a flow through check, uh, and that would kind of where the 2% comes in. Uh, that's my understanding that they're going to take a lot, care of a lot of that. Uh, they're certainly putting a lot of their money up for it. It's a 52% match for the federal uh, program. So. You know, I'm not for sure on all what we will have to be able to do because uh, my discussions were more limited and on how quickly this may need to be presented. Uh, but uh, that is that is my understanding that we would be. Well, could we pass it? But the, depending on you need to make a phone call to get your, your approval. That's okay with it. I mean, is that something? Well, I mean, when I spoke to her, the, um, I think Judge, your name was maybe Christy. Crystal. Chris uh, Crystal. Crystal. Uh, when I when I spoke to her, that's that's what she had indicated to me that ours is more of the of the flow of pass through and, and just the administration it, part of that. I think that may be all that we. I've talked to others, uh, and they've done very little on these. Pretty much, they get all the information from the law firm, firm and PML, and then we just submit it on through. And then the payment comes through here. We get the deposit before we write the check to whoever the provider is. How many yeah. counties is involved in this? Uh, could, I mean, the, uh, between the, well, the, the signal was between Gilbertsville and Louisville, so all those counties, I guess, between, and the track, I'm not, I, I'm not exactly sure where the 180,000 feet, I mean, I'm not in the, that department, but uh, as, as my understanding, uh, there's 180,000 feet of new rail to be purchased, uh, so I'm not exactly sure what territory that's in, but uh, uh, we We've got, uh, you know, some other ongoing projects that we got, you know, similar that uh, we've got uh, some, we've got some, if you are interested in some other projects we got, ongoing projects we got going on, or. Uh, do, you, do you work with any other, have you had to make similar application as this with we, any governmental entities? We, we have a, uh, we're currently working on some, uh, a project with a, a, involving a Chrissy grant. Uh, there's a $62 million, uh, $62.9 million project that we are, uh, uh, matching uh, $33 million uh, for uh, the, the Christie Grants, $29,563,000. That's upgrading PNL's uh, Paducah Yard, rail yard. Uh, we're rehabilitating uh, 23 bridges along our 280 mile uh, rail line. 
uh, originates in Paducah. And who's doing that for you? Who's doing that pass through? Uh, this is a this is a Chrissy grant that was awarded in 2022, uh, and it's also involves rehabilitating the, uh, our and our fleet of locomotives as well. So that's a, that's just another. Yeah, you don't have to have a pass through through that. You're saying? I'm sorry. You don't have to have a pass through to that money like you're doing here. I think that's I believe that's all that's already that's already been awarded to us. Uh, so that, that those projects are already underway. Uh, well, in, in reference to this project, yes. it had to go through certain entities to do it, which could include a governmental entity. And they're just asking, do you work with a governmental entity with regard to the application as to that grant? That may be a, that may be a question I'd have to I'd have to, have to get with Crystal on that. I'm, I'm but, to, uh, I'm we've been assured by Crystal. And then we've had Grad look at it for us, and they they said it's a bulletproof. How did go? How can it get picked for this? Uh, well, I asked them after I found out if found out about it, because it was go over to Grad hammering about it, and I asked about it. We swung the dud because it's a good opportunity for us. We've also got a uh, the Rockport Bridge re rehabilitation project that we're. Uh, that's a uh, 38 million dollar project uh, that we're contributing 21 million. Uh, 55 percent of that. Uh, well, that had to have a run through. No, that's, Grad's doing it. They that, already that's started. Is that the one Grad's already doing? Yeah, Grad's already. Grad. Doing so, it. can we approve this for approving that uh, Grad will agree to help well, that, administer this? That's what it says in this contract letter. So, if you don't mind making the motion, we'll do it that way. I'll make the motion that we accept this resolution per grad agreeing to help administer this grant and, 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 and an advisory capacity. An advisory capacity. We'd like to have a, a, an email from Joanne. We'll, we'll, get we'll get it and then I'll sign the contract. Do I have a second? I'll second. Second, but I will Johnston? Yes. Markview? Yes. And Kenny? Yes. Pull up. Yes. Thank you very much. Thank you. Yeah, I think this is, I looked up on it. I think it's going to be, but I do think on something such big, this big, we need, I wish that, you know, we did check in. I wish Brad would come over and, and speak to us and, you know, this is a big something big. I understand this is how grants work, but it's kind of a big number for us. I, I will get her to come to the next one and okay. show you it. I would, yeah, just a little bit. You okay. know, Who's that, Joe? We're making payments. We're not sure it works. No. Yeah. Right. That's my concern. Come that one, and uh, uh, I will call. Uh, Crystal in the morning, and if she calls you first, you can tell them we passed the resolution. Okay, thank you. And she was going to send us a contract that pretty much said the same, and I, would, I was going to uh, get Grad to work on it over and sign. Just like to have the security blanket at them, even yeah. though they're, I know they're busy with other ones. Yeah. But we'll get it. Okay. But you can tell her that if things good. Or Blake, Blake or Harry the one. Yeah, I mean, we just want to make sure whatever contract presented that they identifies for any work is yeah. similar to concerns that Mr. McKinney had, you know, identifies for any work that they they have to follow the, the federal guidelines with respect to anything that they do before they get payments. Yeah. Yeah, that'll be in the agreement. Uh, with the committee reports, Michael, I know you have at least one maybe two you want to give us. Well uh, working closely with Landon on a couple of things. Should have something we need to get on uh, on the agenda for next time in regards to their television at the jail. And as far as the broadband, I don't we don't have a really a report. Probably need to have another meeting. We'll we'll need to have another meeting to maybe have some final finalized dates. But it yeah. looks like Kennedy's doing a lot. My yeah. phone's getting burned up asking when am I going to get mine? Oh yeah. And uh, and most of, and there are two that calls every day. One calls the office number one calls my a cell number just about every day to the right room. I think at this point Spectrum might be able to give us some 
I wish they'd know, give us if, it, if everything kind of like a pie in the sky, if everything falls into place mm -hmm. schedule, but yeah, you, you just don't know. Until. Or even a range. Right. right. And, in other words, this spring, this summer, this fall, yeah. next year, you know, some, I hope it works out better than Q Orlis did. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I think it will then because we're not. <laughs> Yeah, that bar is not too high. We're, we're, we're talking about a billion dollar company and not. <laughs> yeah, uh, you do know who owns Q Wireless, right? The seven counties. We're one of them. We're, we're one of seven. Right. Of Maybe we don't need to be on the internet. Yeah. yeah. It didn't work 12 years ago. I don't know that it's it, going to work tomorrow. It's still, it's still not working. But anyway, um, any other committee reports? Uh, anybody? The only other thing that okay. I have, uh, not really a committee report, but we still need to readdress the animal shelter as a as a court and their need for a, a vehicle to uh, yes. be able to pull a, a horse trailer and to be able to pull the, the thousands of pounds of food that they get regularly we're kind of borrowing trucks and things like that we need to try to get the animal shelter where they can take care of their own well, I think you and Charlie have talked to the plan there that would work. We've got a tentative plan, but we need to, I need to know, okay. I guess, when we need to have those funds re-available and if we need to re-bid for, for that. I'm, I'm thinking that bid would still be good because we never acted on it. Okay. We just opened it ready. So we're gonna, we need to have discussion about that at the next meeting. We may want to put that on the agenda. Okay, would you mind you could do it by phone, calling those departments involved yep. and having them here. Okay. Thank you, sir. Mm -hmm. uh, any other committee reports? I need to, since you said Landon, when you meet with Landon, we need to talk about that Lions group. Um, but um, I want to talk to Landon a little bit about it too, so I need to, that remind me. I'm going to talk to him before we schedule a meeting on that curriculum for the Lions. And, because that's basically where it's mainly going to go through. So I'll just talk to him, but I'm glad you. Uh, and we'll see the Met for our monthly meeting, and that's about it right now. Anything big to report from them? No, not yet. They got a lot of things on the hook. A lot of things on the hook, but yeah, this, we can't say much right now. Yeah, but it's it's great. I mean, we've got a good future there, in my opinion. Hope so. Yeah. Um, anything else? No. Okay. Uh, well, okay, uh, as uh, the manager's comments and, and requests, I'm going to start with Larry on that one. I have a letter I want to read from Julie Biggers with the KIA, it's Kentucky Inter Infrastructure Structural Authority. Good afternoon. The judge made a call to her a few days ago. It says, good afternoon, Judge Johnson. To recap our conversation on the phone, this project, talking about the Chiggerville Water Project, was funded from the Cleaner Water Underserved Rural Consent Decree Pool. Projects for this funding were submitted and ranked. We do not reallocate the unserved funds. If additional funding is needed to complete your project, please contact me with the shortfall to see if we were, are able to provide the additional funding. The goal is for everyone to have access to clean water. Let me know if you have any questions. I think we need to pursue this and we're, if we don't, we have to send that money, 800 some thousand back, we're missing. This is a big boost for Ohio County. And uh, one argument was taken out. What if it runs over a bid? Well, that's answered there. It gets more money. But I think that's something we need to pursue. I heard the discussion with Justin. He's going to ask some questions for us. Right, Justin? Can you have your answer? Yeah, sure. Please do. Anything else, Larry? That's all I have, Judge. You got anything? Oh, um, sorry. Michael. Okay. What is the name of that? Did you, what did you say? KI? Kentucky Infrastructure Authority. KI. Okay. Yeah. And uh, Larry got the second time he got the word right. 
You said underserved is unserved one time. It's unserved in both our places, yeah. Uh, has anybody of the uh, general uh, public got anything for the good of the body? Sheriff, you got anything? Did y'all receive our resolution? We sent all the. Yeah. No, we didn't see one from. Um, well, uh, I guess uh, I do have. I guess this meeting will be as a uh We've uh, had a good evening. I appreciate all of you guys attending. I apologize. Our members that are, are absent and had good reasons. Uh, they've got other jobs that carried them away this afternoon. So uh, anyway, this means Adam. Can I ask you a question?